Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. This is Unit 2, Lesson 2, Representing Ratios with Diagrams. The objective says, I can draw a diagram that represents a ratio and explain what the diagram means. Elena makes two cups of white paint with six tablespoons of blue paint. Here is a diagram that represents this situation. Write at least four ratio sentences to describe Elena's paint mixture. So we can see in her diagram she has two cups represented with two larger squares, white squares. So these are our two cups of white paint. She also represented our six tablespoons of blue paint with six smaller squares that are blue. So we can just write relationships that are uh, ratio sentences that show the relationship between the white paint and the blue paint. So for example, we could say the ratio of cups of white paint to tablespoons of blue paint is two to six. So we said white paint first, so we listed two first. Blue paint was listed second in our sentence, so six that goes with the blue paint is listed second. The cool thing about ratios is that you can flip them around. So we can also do the same kind of comparison, but instead we can start with the blue paint. So the ratio of tablespoons of blue paint to cups of white paint is 6 to 2. So because I talked about blue paint first, I had to reverse that ratio to put that 6 first. So you can see this is representing the same two items, but it depends on which one you list first. We could also break her recipe down into a smaller portion. We could cut it exactly in half. And if we wanted to make half as much paint, we would use one cup of white paint and three tablespoons of blue paint. So I could write a sentence. And since this has a one in it, and it's bro broken down into its smallest possible grouping, then I can use the phrase for every. So I'm going to say for every cup of white paint, there are three tablespoons of blue paint. I'm going to say the same relationship, but I'm just going to reverse it. For every three tablespoons of blue paint, there is one cup of white paint. So we can take any ratio relationship and we can reverse it, but if we do that, we need to make sure we reverse the words in our sentences so that we're using the labels in the correct order based on how we describe the ratio. The objective says I can draw a diagram that represents a ratio and explain what the diagram means.